Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's your boy, Double Jesus, and today I have a wonderful treat for you. I was browsing through the Marvel Unlimited catalog and found something wonderful. What did I find? Well, you can see it on the screen right now, so obviously you don't need to ask. It's the Gamerverse Marvel's Avengers Captain America number one. Yes, it is the tie-in comic for the Marvel's Avengers game. This takes place in the events precluding uh, the Marvel's Avengers game itself, and we'll most likely have an issue covering each of the six starting main characters, perhaps even attempting to try to tie in a comic with the release of new characters like Kate Bishop or Hawkeye, perhaps even. Uh, we'll see. Um, overall, this... This comic itself doesn't really give you a lot of insight into the storyline in the game. Uh, it's more of like kind of like a maybe prequel to this whole setup for some some choice uh, bits of a story that maybe we're not getting in the game itself and kind of what's leading up to A Day. So very uh, interesting in that regard, but unfortunately nothing has been dropped from it other than it is showing the villain Batrock, so maybe he can make a comeback. I know people want more villains. That's probably not what they're thinking, but it's, you know, still a villain. He's the leaper. Um, so it starts with an attack in broad daylight. Batrock uh, shows himself and then Cap's there to foil him. Now during the fight, uh, Cap's a little bit distracted, thinking back to World War II, uh, reminiscing about a buddy of his, uh, a certain corporal. Uh, then we go back, and they're fighting, and Cap gets the better of Batrock with the old shield bounce. They never expect it. Oh, yeah. But then Batrock says, uh, Me comrades! And then uh, his minions come out. And they start shooting sonic weapons at Cap. Luckily for Cap, they all shoot at the shield. I mean, you know, I'd be that one henchman that no one would like because I'd be like, kneecap. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't like me at all. So there's a fight and then Cap's going back in time and talking about this guy who he says was his friend. And here is where Batrock is setting up this thing that looks like a 3D camera. And then he jacks up the henchman. I gotta say the art reminds me of like some old cereal box comics that you get or something like that. Or maybe like some older 90s uh, art styles. Um, they use some good, like, modern shading techniques or whatever to kind of make it look a little good despite the lack of, uh, detail or whatever, but yeah, it's not, uh, it's not the best. Not really the best. The, the color work they do, uh, with the shading is a good job, but there's some, some wacky stuff here, like these fingers and stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being too picky, but yeah, that, that finger right there, like, I don't know. Really quickly done spreads. I'm sure they were paid like $5 a page or something <laughs> for this. Uh, so Cap foils his plans, but realizes there's something weird about it. Uh, attack in broad daylight. And the actual uh, truck that's being attacked is empty. And he leaps away. A tout et le hui. I don't, don't know French. My French is not good. I apologize. They, I like the thing they do with the lights that you see sometimes in comics, though, like the police lights where, like, they make the little bubbles. Uh, I think that's a cool effect. That looks neat. It's a good way to do light without uh, having to actually have any sort of, like, artistic uh, talent. So he breaks the 3D camera, the not a 3D camera, and then it turns out that his buddy is talking about it. it looks like it was his funeral today, so that's why he's a little bit distracted. <laughs> uh, then he goes into uh, this actual dude, who his name is uh, Davis. I think it's like Corporal Lance Davis or something like that. 
And he was part of a secret military uh, intelligence group uh, against the Axis. And they would like study their tactics or whatever. So it was like almost like a preclude to like, uh, you know, what's it called? Uh, like the whole, uh, I can't remember what it's called, but modern, uh, modern crime fighting techniques they use where they, uh, whatever, I don't watch enough TV. So they go to assault this place. The guy realizes that it's a, you know, a trap. Uh, specifically set up for Cap. Uh, he tells Cap to sit back. Cap's like, nah, bro, hold my shield. No, just kidding, I need that. And then uh, he says, let's go. But they change their tactics up a little bit, and so they assault this place. Kind of just giving you a backstory of what this guy's got going on. Uh, I, the, the only thing I can glean from this comic is that, you know, Cap realizes something was weird about the heist. He comes back, and it turns out there was, like, a tracking device on it. Mr. Leaper was trying to like get into like a secret weapon facility because he knew they'd take away the wreckage, yada yada. Plot ruined. Uh, Cap gets him. A lot of nothing going on with these scenes, man. Um, and he gets the better of him. Because all of the weapons in the storage facility are disabled. Lol, why would they keep loaded weapons? You idiot. Um, and so Cap realizes that this is the real gem to take from this. And I'll just put it as a summary. Is uh, Cap kind of takes from this that, you know, you got to... Uh, he's been reactive towards the enemy. And, you know, he needs to change away the way that Avengers go about their tactics. And the way that they... Uh, fight crime and so he goes to contact Tony and then you also get this sweet sweet frame right here yeah baby <laughs> a little teaser there of what to expect also this face I'm pretty sure that's one punch man I'll just leave one punch man there and so, yeah, he calls up Tony, and then the last thing I'll show here, you know, about the future of the Avengers, and this is the splash for the next comic, so. Yeah, what do you guys think? Uh, are you interested in the Marvel's Avengers uh, pre-storyline uh, comics? Are you, uh, would you like to see what Black Widow's story is? This actually looks like, uh, at least for the, the main page, the... The game has been upped. I wonder if this is the same person. It looks like a similar style, but they could have just used like the same inker and uh, color work. Um, this one looks a lot better than the cap one, I think. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, if you like the content, like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, if you would like to get notifications for when I go live, when I play video games, or just make new videos, um, yeah, words are hard, so bye.